making. And think of the last time you made a really bad decision, maybe one that you were airborne. You'll be able to list a number of factors that you believe are appropriate for you to help improve that decision making next time. The resource guide and workbook provides some guidance with some acronyms, but real time, you've got to basically look at two options. Is it time critical or non-time critical? Any decision that's got to be made under a time critical circumstances, that just comes back to good preparation on the ground. There's no point sitting in an aircraft when you're having an engine fire and shuffling around to reach down to find a checklist to know what actions need to be followed to deal with that scenario. You have to plan on the ground and be ready to, to act almost unconsciously at that time to carry out immediate actions to contain the situation and then to look for what time you've got left available to deal with it. We need to know our own limitations and limitations of our aircraft. If we're always looking for better ways to do something, if we understand our limitations when we're approaching that we're about to lose situational awareness, workload's getting too high, or I'm starting to tune out because I'm getting a little bit too bored and a little bit complacent, I'm not starting to think ahead about what could be happening next, then maybe I'm going to set myself up to be not prepared for a decision that may need to be made. So preparation, always thinking about what might be next, thinking ahead and keeping yourself ahead of the aircraft, understanding your own limitations, maximises the ability to maintain situational awareness and be able to make good decisions. The other thing is it's preparation on the ground. If you're less experienced, you may have to start thinking about what other types of decisions I'll need to make under which conditions. And even if you look at the guys flying Red Bull, they're regularly visualising what they're about to do airborne as preparation on the ground. It's also a technique used by the military. Strong visualisation about a sequence that I may experience can very, very readily prepare you to actually be able to deal with that situation should it arise. Now that all comes down to preparation. Don't rush. Know your own limitations as a psychology-wise. So if you happen to be the type of person that makes impulsive, quick snap decisions, you need to learn how to uh, recognise that and control it. If you have a big ego, if you're starting to get complacent, you might start making decisions that are a little bit uh, risky, that are uh, beyond your own capabilities. Again, you need to recognise that or others need to let you know that maybe you're just moving to an area that's, that's not quite right. And from there, if you're always looking for better ways to do something with good preparation and the use of some of the acronyms that we suggested in the workbook, then you can be on your way to be able to make sound and good decisions on a more regular basis.